I'm sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring. No. Uh, excuse me. Please go clear it. Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. Found a place to transfer. I need you to step back. Evacuate the guests. Report back to the director once you've taken witness statements. squares. Shit. It's like I told you. Someone went on a rampage. And now... I'll take it from here. I... I'm Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? <laughs> a director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. 
It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp.
rise and shine. Huh? Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> well now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Up, up. <laughs> Off we go. You just wait right there. Hey, boss! Your guests are here! Woo! Hell yeah! Allow me to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> Which one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, why do you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Please me just say, bravo. It. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho oh, there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt! So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Help us, I oh, Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of you. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say, there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That's Gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? But at least I'm not alone this time. For vultures. Keeps them as pets. They're trained to real people lost in the desert. That's right. You just Or run for it. Go on. See how far you get. This here shop got Gus's seal of approval. Go on and make him as flashy as Gus. your new champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. Hi, Mister. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? 
Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. Hmm. I did see one of those scam artist lecturers buying veggies the other day. Good luck out there, cutie pie. Somewhere more quiet. <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you, promise. <laughs> Shit. Guess I'll wait here. <laughs> Look who's come waltzing back. You got it. Just straight ahead. <laughs> you lost or something? You ain't getting away. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't bite. <laughs> Allow us to show you how things work around here. Uh huh. Keep going. <laughs> but you're stuck with me now. And 
here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> <laughs> It's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. <laughs> yeah! You had your chance. Experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, great! We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here! And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? No! Very sorry to have troubled you, but we won't do it again! Promise! <laughs> Downright dire. But hey, I ain't picky. 